Hi, and welcome to ClickFix. This video will go over how to get started with ClickSense Cloud Hub and how to interact with an app when consuming data. Because data-driven decision-making is forefront in your role, having readily available analytics is important. Here you see the Cloud Hub home screen. To access all your available content, click on Catalog. By default, all the content you have access to is listed. You can pick from spaces you have access to. Spaces group specific content that is accessible by your user account. You are able to see your personal and shared spaces. And if you're using ClickSense Enterprise SaaS, managed spaces are also listed. We'll select an example shared space. Depending on your permissions, you're able to view and manage the space notifications, members, data sources, and edit the space itself. Each space will list its available apps, charts, data sources, notes, and links. In this video, we will focus on interacting with apps. So we select apps to filter on that type of content. You have the ability to also filter by owner, then under all filters, filter by creator and tags. You can then list by less modified, less created, and alphabetical. Your layout can also be customized to a list view or tiled view. The example app used here, named Beginner's Tutorial, can be downloaded from the tutorial page under the Click Help site. The link to the specific page can be found in the article where this video is embedded to. Once you have opened an app, you will see a list of available sheets. Under Public Sheets, all published sheets available to you are listed. Depending on your permission level, My Sheets is also displayed from where you can create your own sheets and visualizations. Also, depending on your permissions, Public Sheets can be copied or duplicated with right-click, allowing you to create your own version of a predefined sheet. We will not be covering how to create or edit sheets and visualizations in this tutorial. You can access any of the active public sheets. We will open the sheet called Dashboard. With the sheet open, click Sheets in the top right corner, then select the sheet, or use the navigational arrows to move forward and back in the list of sheets. You can go back to the app's overview from the top left menu, or go back to the hub by clicking on the Click logo in order to access other apps and contents. Back at the app's sheets visualization, Let's move on to how we can interact with an app and isolate different subsets of data. We can do so by clicking directly on a visual element within a visualization. In our example, we isolate 2014 sales year by clicking on that value in the year filter pane, then confirm your selection. All other visualizations within the sheet will adjust to reflect your selection. When making additional selections, Values in white indicate associated data based on current selections, while values in gray indicate that no data is associated to that value based on the current selections made. In this example, we see that there is no data for Q3 or Q4 for the year 2014. You can also search inside the filter pane to make locating the desired value easier. With the selection made, click on the green check mark to confirm your selection or the red X to cancel your selection. You can interact with other objects such as charts or tables by clicking directly on the individual selection of the chart. Here we select to show sales in the USA region only by selecting the area represented by that selection in the pie chart. Selections can be removed from the selection toolbar. Another way to make selections is to use the lasso icon, which appears when a sheet object is clicked on. Select the Lasso Feature button, then draw around or over the desired selection, then confirm the selection. With the selections made, the Selections toolbar provides a convenient set of tools to step back through the recent selections or step forward to reapply those same selections. You also have the ability to either edit a selection, cancel it, or clear all selections. Another way to select and explore data is to use the Smart Search feature. From the Selections bar, click on the magnifying glass, which will open the Smart Search tool. You may enter multiple search terms into the Smart Search field. Unlike when searching within a table or a filter pane, the Smart Search tool searches across multiple fields from the underlying data model. Each term will be color coded differently to help identify individual results. Click on one of the results or hit return to select the result. Notice the selections made by the search result. 
you are then able to easily access your search history the next time you select to use the Smart Search tool. And this concludes the basics of navigating the ClickSense Hub and interacting with an app in order to review data. If you would like more information, take advantage of the expertise of peers, product experts, and technical support engineers by asking a question in the Click Product Forum on Click Community. Or search for answers using the new Search Unified tool. It searches across our knowledge base, Click Help, Click Community, Click YouTube channels, and more, all from one place. Also, check out the support program space. Here, you can learn directly from Click experts via support webinar, like Techspert Thursdays, and don't forget to subscribe to the support updates blog. Thanks for watching. Nailed it.